So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Devin the Monster Anoma. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, yeah. Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one. Ready. Go. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Making all these shots count. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Round and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Now he's in trouble. Oh, gives up on the submission now. Well, he had it tight, John, but then he decided to keep the dominant position by giving it up. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Gotta be careful here. Oh, he flattens him on his back now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Well, he's
He's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. He's got the ground and pound going now. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. In the half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Great submission defense on the play tonight. There it is. Now he's on the mountain. Midway through round one. He's got to be careful here. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. He Bottom needs fighter to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, good entry there to take the fight to the grappling realm. Now we'll see what he can do from here, champ. This is exactly where he wants to be. Look for him to try to use ground and pound to open up submission opportunities. How do you get out of harm's way here? I mean, you got to shove that knee, John. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. And very effective with the ground and pound. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Side control. 90 seconds to go in the round. Mm, that was nice. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fight. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block! He gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. We approach the one-minute mark in the first round. Now he's got a good body position, yo. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Beautiful grounded palm. And now he's got his opponent cut. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, full guard now, DC. Yes, full guard. Watch for the top fighter to either posture or look to pass right away. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Final seconds. Serious swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and all right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Double leg is good. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, nothing in the unified rule says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. 
inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Oh, right into Mount. Takes his back now. Oh, flattens him out now. This could be the beginning of the end. This is where he wants to be. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every pack. Oh, now he's attacking on trying. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Back mount now. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom gear, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one arm. You cannot worry about both of them. Get one free and then start building towards doing something else. But the first step is to get a arm free to start trying to be able to defend yourself. You have nothing blocking your face when you're in this position. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is stunning off the mat. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Just over two minutes to go in round two. And the fighters are inverted now. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, he's got his knee on the belly, raining down punches here. Oh, man, another blow right on that previously targeted area. He's in real trouble now. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Great job landing from the top position. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes, and. Really, a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one that caused all the action. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, setting up for a finish here. That guillotine is tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. All right, he's got the hooks in. DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, not at all where he wants to be now as he gets flattened on his back. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Oh, and the horn sounds on round two. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. 
you can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. Ready, fight. Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Oh, man. That cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. This cut has got to be bad. And he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to talk. Takedown defense is there. Oh, my God. Oh, well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, he grounded him and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Side control now. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Well, he's got his back now. Thought about a choke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, Chad. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his opponent's back and just start raining down the ground. And, and if you're the bottom fighter, better start intelligently defending yourself. Oh, big Let's elbow. Go. Up. Ooh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. Yep, got to be very careful there. Another strike gets through from the top position. Yes, smart like adjustment, yep. Big ground and pound. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Neon belly, big strikes landing here. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't like premature stoppages, but I'm not sure this would be premature. I mean, his face is essentially shut closed at this point. He's just been beat up. He's been outclassed. He's been outworked. He's been... Whoa! Oh, how about the judo toss there? It's not as easy as it looks, I can assure you. Oh, good defense, yes. Oh. Under two minutes now to go. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Using a lot of good movement. Let's go! Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Nicely done. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. 
Oh, he got to his spot. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th round? This swinging understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fight. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become king. Oh, man, you got to credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at, but really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Get the ball here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bump, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Lands a big elbow there. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. The fight's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. He passes the half. Now he's going full mount. He's gotta start throwing now. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Constantly a moving target. Fight back! Fight back! And now he's got the back. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, the cut man's getting excited, but nobody else is. That cut's getting worse by the minute. Every time he gets hit there, it gets a little bit messier. <laughs> 90 seconds to go. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, you know, Logan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart. 
courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Might get the TKO here. Herb Dean steps in. Oh, my God. What a fight. Well, make no mistake about it. He is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Kevin the Monster Randleman. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.